Hey what's going on guys Tanmay for Telisco Learnings and in this video tutorial we're going to be seeing a use case of do while loop so this is a third basic looping control statement that we are going to be seeing in this video in the previous couple of videos we've seen the for loop and we've seen the while loop and the do while loop is different from them because it is a exit control statement wherein the condition is checked after the first time the entire loop is executed so you'll understand that in a minute right now let's just start off with the syntax so the syntax goes as follows you write in do then you open and close the curly braces that is the body of the do while loop and at the end of the curly braces wherein you have the closing curly brace you write while and then you open and close the round brackets which will contain the condition and then you give a semicolon so don't forget to give this semicolon over here and what we are going to do is we are going to print my name or print any text five times so this is just to display or display the working of do while loop so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say where x equals to 5 okay and inside the condition part of the do while loop what i'm going to say is while x greater than 5 okay so the condition is x should be greater than 5 if x is greater than 5 only then this loop is going to be executed but we know that our x is 5 let's say if x is 1 okay so x is 1 and x is not greater than 5 right so this loop should not execute however as i mentioned since this is a do while loop this condition is going to be checked after the first iteration so if i say document dot write and in the h2 tag if i print my name this will run one time okay so let me just save this and if i refresh this there you go you can see we got the output done by once even when the condition was false and the reason is because this is an exit control statement wherein the condition is checked after first time or first iteration now if i make this six and if i refresh this this will go in an infinite loop because we are not performing increment or decrement over here right so we need to do that also so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to say x minus minus so what will happen first time x is six and first time the body of the do while loop will execute even without checking the condition so this will get printed now x will get minus minus which means x will become phi so phi is not greater than phi right so it will not be executed so let's just make this seven and let's see if our name gets printed two times and there you go you can see our name got printed two times now if i make this zero still one time it is going to be executed anyhow because as i mentioned the condition is checked after the first iteration so this is the only speciality of do while loop and the variation compared to for and while loop so if you're wondering where exactly do while loop is used sometimes what happens is even though the condition is false for the first time you have to execute that command okay so let's say you're displaying a menu wherein you'll be giving user some options and depending upon what option the user selects you'll again loop through the different sub options or subtypes so in that case you have to show that menu first right so depending upon whether the condition is true or false at least you need to show that menu so that can be done in do while loop wherein you at least display the first screen and then if the condition is false or true or depending upon what user enters then you can exit the loop or you can continue with the loop so again this was just a syntax denotion this was not a program which was specifically for do while loop we rarely come across such programs wherein do while loop is very essential so i just wanted to show you the syntax and what exactly do while loop does how it looks and how it differs from other loops okay so that's it for this video guys i hope you understood the syntax of do while loop and how it is different from the other two loops if you like this video please give it a thumbs up do share it with your friends and see you guys in the next video peace